see if you would just if you would come right here and do something cute, that'd be a great intro. That is absolutely perfect. Yeah, that was perfect. Hello new friends, hello old friends, and welcome to my channel. For those who don't know, my name is May. This is Jin. And for those who do know, yes I am in the same outfit that I was in last week. It's the same day. I need to record like two, maybe three of these so that I can not have to record next week. This week. Okay. Today what I have for you is another pop and cooking candy kit. This is the bento box one. Full disclosure, I did do this one several years ago. Um, I've been redoing a lot of the kits that I did several years ago. I'm finding that I can actually taste them now and it is a whole different experience. The first time I did these, I had just quit smoking, and, uh, yeah. It's interesting. Fascinating. Exciting. <laughs> when you quit smoking and all of your senses start to come back online, like taste and smell. So, that's why I've both tried this before and will be tasting this for the first time. Okay. Um... I don't know how much more of an explanation this needs. It's a pop and cooking kit. Uh, bento box is a like Japanese lunch box. I think this is like a children's lunch. So yeah, yeah, there it is. I, it's, it says like school lunch or something there, right? I can't read Japanese, but that's kind of what I feel like that might say. So what I'm going to do is change camera angles, help Jen stop defuffing, and get on in here. Sweetness. Oh, baby. So this is the Pop and Cook and Bento. Right here on the top of the box, you have things you're going to need, and everything that is in the box. I don't speak or read Japanese, so everything I'm telling you right now is a guess. Moving on. Uh, here on the back, they have instructions. Uh, I'm going to just follow the pictures. So, let's get on in here. Seriously. So, we've got a little place for you to put the things when you're done, and on the back here, there are measurements. So what you're going to do is take your scissors, and just cut it out. I'll be with you in a second. Okay, so once you've cut everything out, you will still be left with the stuff that was inside. We've got a package of packets, another package of packets, a piping bag, and a fork. It says on back here that the first thing we're supposed to do is pop off this little piece here. This is where scissors come in handy. Okay, so there's that. Now then. So I guess the first thing we're going to do is empty all these packages and see what we have. And 
here we've got something that might be egg. The black stuff to make the panda face, I think. The rice to make the panda face, I think. And here we've got the thing that makes the little hot dog octopus thing. We've got the broccoli. Oops. The meatballs. And the noodles. Oops. Okay. So, let's get on in here. Um... This first things first, we are supposed to take one scoop of water and the broccoli. At least I think that's what this is. So I've got a little bowl of water off to the side here. And you just dunk it in and pour. I know you guys probably couldn't see any of that, I'm sorry. I never claimed to be good at this. Okay. So, bring your fork in. Give it a quick stir, which is a whole lot easier said than done. There are a lot of little nooks and crannies that you want to get your fork into. Make sure it's all mixed up everywhere. It doesn't say to do that, but it helps the stuff go down. Okay, and after that, it wants us to take one scoop into this thing that looks like egg and put it in this long thing. I guess it is. So mix that up. Next up is the hot dog octopus. Same thing. One scoop. And the little hot dog octopus guy.
This one's going to be extra tricky. Can you even see it? So yeah, this one's tricky, tricky. You got to make sure that you mix it all up and get in these little tentacles. They're called tentacles. You guys even see what angle do you need to be on? That one? That one maybe? Well, that's absolutely no good for me. Alright, this is the angle we're all getting. So mix that up. Make sure you get it everywhere. And even though it doesn't say, it makes me feel better. Alright, next up is something slightly different, but not really. So we are supposed to take this packet, two things of water, where are we? This packet, two things of water, and put it in here. And it said two scoops of water. You can see I, I'm getting this one pretty close to my face because it gets a little tricky at the end to uh, make sure that all the powders mixed in. So you're going to want to add more water, but don't. Just keep going. And then at some point, you'll get to the point where you just can't. And when that happens, you're going to pick it up with your hands, with your nice clean hands, and just knead the rest of the stuff in. Just like squoosh it squish it in here, just get as much as you can. Or maybe that's just all there is. That's the best you're going to get. So once you've given up on getting all of the powder, You take this this part specifically and you want to take this that you've just made and Divide it into appropriately sized amounts. And then there's a one down here too. It's an onigiri, so make that. That looks about panda right. And 
those more or less ear sized. And then this is the onigiri. to a triangle if you are even remotely capable. I am not. Okay, so you got panda and an onigiri. And hands. Sticky, sticky hands. Then what you're supposed to do is take this and put it Panda face in this thing and in here. But first, I really need to go rinse my hands. I'm like, I cannot feel. Okay. This. Just give me a second. I'll clean up some of the water here. So I don't think that's going to help with the next step. So. And a face. That piece there. And in there. Okay. After doing that, it is time to stamp. So we take our little onigiri and we put it there. Take that, I believe. Something like that. And then you place it over here. I'll show you guys that in a second. So you're supposed to take the panda ears and roll them in this stuff. Take your panda face and squish it in the panda face. Cute. So you just attach the ears like. Yep. So what we've got now is a terribly deformed <laughs> looking panda, oh jeez, um, and a slightly even more deformed onigiri. Ta-da! I need to stop doing that, that means something different in Japanese. Um, Dun-dun! I don't know. So after all of that, we desperately need more room on this desk. Right, there. I'll scoot these over here, 
That's a terrible idea. And yet... So, after stamping, we need to somehow empty out the rest of this powder that I didn't actually... So then what we're going to do is take this and the meatballs and one scoop of water. <gasps> no! Oh my god, ew, 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 damn it, ew. Okay, so here, one scoop. Just this angle, I believe. So far, everything has been fruit scented. So I don't think this is, like, actual meat. It's probably going to be, like, cola or something. Yeah. So, once it comes together like that, and take it out and make two little meatballs. Ta-da! Damn it, I did it again. And then, finally, it is time for these noodles. They're also going in here. We need two scoops of water. I'm not sure what that scent is. Like mango or something? Mm -hmm. Okay, so when this is mixed... We're supposed to put it in the piping bag. Nothing to help us hold the piping bag, but that's fine. Other than taking these out, it's 
time to suck everything. Okay, so after all that, we bring this back in. All right, as I was saying, bring this back in. And it's just, I think you're just supposed to, yeah, you take your noodles, you squish them down, Okay, so fold, twist, push, it tells you to cut off the bottom and twist like this, and uh, here are some noodles. Can you guys see that? Okay. Well, maybe not quite. Okay. And finally, popping these out and placing them as well. And we will start with this because it's the one that we did first and it this isn't really working the way I wanted it to that's fine that's fine there it is mm -hmm. and then with this we're supposed to get up under it and like Fold it into the thing. So there's that. If a person were better at this, then that would be much rounder. And then this guy who ooh, actually came out pretty easily until I let him slide back in. Just put him right there, I think. And I think that's everything. It looks absolute... well, okay, hang on. There are a few embellishments that we could do if we really wanted, but I don't. So, I'm not going to decorate any farther than this. But, there we go. Oh jeez, that's going to die. Alright, I'm going to switch camera angles, and I will see you for a taste test. So... It's kind of hard to hold this up to show you guys, so I'm just going to not. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it, it not designed to be held up, but 
you saw before I changed camera angles. So now I'm just gonna start trying things, I guess. I'm gonna start with these noodles, because I'm not entirely sure... I think they smell like mango. I'm sure it tells us here. Okay, so these noodles. I'm sure it tells us on the box what flavors these are, but like I said, cannot read or speak Japanese. I think it's mango. It textures like frosting. What flavor are you though? Okay. I'm going either mango or orange. <laughs> Cannot place flavor. What is? Okay, either mango or orange. And it textures like frosting. Next, I'm gonna try one of these. That's a texture. Mm -hmm. It's like it wanted to be a gummy, but couldn't quite figure it out. And I was so distracted by the texture that I have absolutely no idea what flavor that was. I'm gonna go with grape. It's not like obnoxious, but I think that was grape. Um, next up, let's do, while I'm writing this texture, let's do this little onigiri thing. Hmm. The black powder is sour. Some texture is the other thing. I think it's ramune flavored. Like ramune or soda flavored. Hmm. I like that. That's a really nice flavor. Alright, next let's do this deformed egg. Come here, deformed egg. Okay, that tastes like fake lemon. The happy face. That one was lemon. The word lemon, written in katakana, looks like it says "lo winky face." Le, and then it's a little happy face with one eye. Lo winky face, lo happy face. That's how I remember the word lemon. So that was lemon. 
Um, let's try the green. I'm going to go with green apple. This is probably green apple. green apple that wasn't like the flavors here aren't bad and I am surprised <laughs> they're very fruity they're very balanced the texture of this jelly is like jello that's not entirely set yet it's still solid but it, you can like squish it with like your tongue Finally, I'm going to try this little thing. Probably cherry? Strawberry? Hmm. I think that might have been strawberry. It was good. So that was actually all of the flavors. The Panda Heads just soda with the sour powder. I'll eat this ear though because it's completely covered in the powder. Mmm. And the black powder is sour and crunchy. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna finish these three bites that I have left here. The rest of the noodle frosting. This is not like citrusy, citrusy like orange, though. Mango. I'm settling on mango. Another one of these tasty ears. Huh? Mm. It's almost like a marshmallowy texture. I kind of. I'm gonna say foam, but that's not what I really mean. That's hard to explain. Creepy fit panda face with no ears. Ah. Rolled in extra black sugar stuff. That was actually really good. The most interesting textures. There was the the jelly that's not quite set jello. There was the frosting noodles. And I don't know how to explain the onigiri or the panda head. It's like if a marshmallow was a gummy, but also lumpy. <laughs> I wish I knew. Um, I would buy this again. I recommend this. It's not particularly complicated. You don't need a microwave or anything. Um, it actually tastes good, which I am surprised. I don't regret being able to taste this this time around. That was, again, surprisingly good. So, yeah, uh, if you see it, you should buy it, you should try it. Uh, I'd let little kids try this one as well. Maybe not a little little because you can see how small some of these things are. 
people who have very poorly developed small motor skills, fine motor skills, might have some issues with that. But, you know, slightly older kids probably really like this. Um, I think that's all I have to say about it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like this if you like this. And let's face it, if you made it this far, you like this. It's okay. Express yourself. Hit the button. And don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss videos. Um, comment anything at all that you want to say. Even if it's ha ha loser, oh, it says exactly what flavor it is on there. How did you not know what flavor that was? <laughs> And that's it. That's all. That's everything. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you. Bye. What do you think, Jin? Should I do another video just to just be able to wear this dress some more? No? It's time for pajama bottoms? Alright, I'm done with that. I hope that ankle's okay. It's probably all wonky. Anyway, here we are up close. Wait, 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 wait. If I do that, then you can definitely... Oh, come on now. Table's not quite big enough for this. I want you to be able to see my lap, you know? Okay.